hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cody page and today i will be showing you how to create a valentine's day look this is a pink cut crease and i just love this look so much this look is perfect for partying date night out with your girls just at any occasion on valentine's day and if you want to see how i created this look so you can look hot just like this then keep on watching. So first I will start off by using the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Matte Palette and this pink shade right here to go into my crease and just basically um, using it as my transition shade and I will just blend it in seamlessly. So I started off with my eyebrows already done. I do have a video on that down in the description box. Make sure you check that out. Next, I will go on with the Morphe palette, taking up this purple shade so I can define the crease a little bit more. So basically, I'm going right under that pink shade that we just put on top of our brow bone. With the cut crease that we're doing today, you just want to make sure that all of your transition shades and your crease colors are blended seamlessly before you go in and cut the crease. This will give you an easy cut crease to accomplish. So the key to it is just blending, blending as much as you can. Next, you want to go ahead and take any concealer brush with your concealer and then go in and cut out the crease. So first, you want to start off at the beginning on the lid and then you want to look up just so that way you know where your crease line is and then you want to drag the line out until you form a line shaping out your crease. Then you want to make sure that the line that you cut the crease on is blended out as well into that crease color, which is the purple from the Morphe palette. Next, you want to go ahead and take the BH Cosmetic Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we will go ahead and take this light pink shade and go on top of our crease. That will be our crease shade, a light pink color. When doing this, make sure what you're doing to one eye, you're doing to the other eye, just to make sure that it has a neat appearance because with the cut crease, you can definitely tell it is more visible if one eye does not look similar to the other.
Now I'm going in with the lightest shade in the palette, basically taking that into the inner corner of the lid, intensifying that pink and making it brighter, basically making the color pop more. Now I will go back in with that purple shade from the Morphe palette and just smoke out my outer corner. As you can see here, I'm just packing that color on, defining the crease a little bit more. Next you want to take a thin brush and some clear lash glue and then you want to line the cut crease. Basically at the top this will be the line where you put your glitter so you want it to be as thin as possible and as clean as possible because you do not want glitter going into places that you do not want it. So then after you create that line you want to take a separate brush, separate skinny brush and dip it into the glitter lining the cut crease line where we place the glue. Next, I'm gonna go ahead in with the Inglide gel color in the number 77. This is the blackest shade that they have. I am going to create a wing. Starting from the outer corner and connecting it as I'm coming from the inner corner, as you can see here. Now I'm taking that same concealer brush and going and cleaning up the liner in the shadow just so it can have a neater appearance. And I'm blending it out with my finger as you can see here. Now it's for lashes. Voila! And this is the final look. Yes, I'm just loving this look so much. These are the lashes in the style Climax. They are available online at pagesofglam.com. If you would like to shop, I will leave the link down in the description box below. If you want to know how to apply lashes, I do have a video. I will leave that link down in the description box as well. Now for a little video shoot tease. <laughs> Thank you.
yes i'm just loving this look so much it was so fun to create if you still happen to recreate this look make sure you tag me on instagram at the cody page all of my social media handles will be down in the description box as well Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Glam family. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And don't forget to shop Pages of Glam. See you soon.